Boom. What's up, everybody? My name is Tips Cobble, and today we'll be taking a look at the HSL tool, or the Hue, Saturation, and Luminance tool in Affinity Photo, and how to use it, how you can adjust specific colors to your liking. It's really simple, it's quick, easy, and let's just get to it. If you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button and press that notification bell so you get updated whenever I put out new content. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or uh, wishes on tutorials or anything else, put them in a comment below. So this is our photo, we're going to be checking out the HSL adjustment layer or the hue, saturation and luminosity adjustment layer. You find it here on the circle, half shaded, half not shaded, it's called adjustments. And then you go down to HSL. We can see here this dialog box pops up and gives us a, a color wheel, gives us RGB here. And individual colors get us hue shifts so we can shift the hue of the entire image since we have every color RGB selected we can change the saturation of the entire picture or all the colors and we can change the luminosity on all the colors by dragging the luminosity slider I'm gonna hit reset here we have the delete key and merge key and if we wanted to make a preset for another photo we could Let's say we wanted this to look like this. You can just hit that app preset, name it, and then you have those settings for a different day. Reset again. So we're gonna I'm gonna fix this reddish orange sunset, make it a little bit more yellow. I'm gonna hit that yellow, click the picker, go up here to this yellow tones, and you can see it has become a little bit orange. Now I'm gonna adjust here until I get it more the way I like it because we just targeting that specific color range. And that looks more realistic to me how it was when I shot it. We're gonna pump up the saturation just a little bit and maybe bring down the luminosity just a little bit. You can see we can make it all black completely white, but we're gonna just keep it here at about a point five minus five. And if I uncheck this box, we can see how it was before and after. And that looks uh, good to me. We also have the opacity down here. So if we didn't like that much, we can reduce it. And I'm going to keep it up here so we can check out the blend modes. And then you can go through one by one here. See if there's something you like. I'm going to keep it at normal. And then exit out and before and after. 